Here we go. Good morning. I'm over here in uh, Missouri. Kind of chilly this morning. Figured I'd give you, uh, excuse me, get, trying to get my damn glove on. I'm over here in Missouri on 49, Interstate 49, used to be 71. Car uh, Carthy's, Missouri, just five miles north of here, there's uh, uh, the caves. I'm at this big old warehouse here, I don't know if you can see her very good. But these doors, as you can see, uh, they open them from the... They open your trailer doors from the inside. Obviously, this is not my trailer. My trailer is still sitting down there. I just wanted to... Uh, this is the driver's side of the trailer. It's all about setup. I'm referring to when you pull in... I wanted to make a video, too bad I don't have a better camera. Uh, all I have is my tablet. Um, you can see here, here's the driver's side of the trailer when you back in. You gotta make sure that you're, uh, then here's the passenger side. And what I do is I come in and I, as I'm, I'm, I'm checking these trailers out, uh, you know, for example, that trailer, that D&D &D trailer right there, um, I'm checking that out when I'm, when I'm pulling in here and see how everybody's setting up, because there's all kinds of trailers all down through here, um, say this door here, you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, yeah, I can kind of see it, the tire tracks from other trailers. Now, it's pretty important that you're, you're in there pretty close uh, to the way it is. Um, as you can see uh, from the video, there's, there's quite a few uh, doors here. Um, yeah, see, all the way down through there. Uh, when they give you a door, Make sure that you're set, you know, you, you check things out, not just your door, but all the doors. Um, most of these places, whether whether it's snowing uh, or just dry, uh, as you can see down through there, every one of them doors has, has uh, the tire marks where the old, where the trailers, uh, before you and went in <laughs> there's uh there's a prime and he he's got his doors he's got his doors open uh but a lot of these warehouses are leery when they see a prime uh some of them guys there's videos out there you, you know you've probably seen them where they run into them doors with them wings open we got wings, but we make sure we close them. Kind of chilly out here. But yeah, it's all about the setup. Um, when you're when you're pulling up, pay attention to everything. You know the other trailers are how they're setting in them doors, and where the tires versus the lines are on both sides of the trailer. And then when you're backing in, just make sure you're pretty much just like that. Yes, very nice. Kind of chilly out. Not that bad. It's the wind that's, that's murdered today. There's the old girl sitting in there amongst them other ones waiting to get loaded. I ought to walk backwards, the damn wind's in my face. I'm amazed my, uh, my hood don't fly back. Yeah, 33 degrees is what my Reaper set at. Hell, 
probably shut the damn reaper off. It's probably about that much. Out right now. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I just wanted to put this. Too bad I don't have a better better camera. Uh, all I got is my phone and oh, darn it. Closing the old closing the old wings up. I'll have to slide tandems, I'll do that after I get back to in the hole there. Yeah, I wish I had a better camera. Uh, I'm kind of cheap. I don't want to spend the money right now. And I don't know if... Uh, besides that, I don't know. Here, let me get you in the cradle there. There we go. Then I don't know if they, you know, if them cameras, you buy those, you know, specific cameras for, for this type of deal. I don't know if uh, uh, it comes with that uh, editing software or not. Anybody out there who's watching the video, if they know, go ahead and send me a message. Uh, Give me some info. I've asked on uh, some of them social media sites, closed groups, but all you get is smart ass comments, you know. Um, hope everybody's day is going all right. Little woman, she's finding me load after load. Um, like this load here, it's going over to Kansas. And, uh, heck, we've been getting three and four dollars a mile for all our loads, you know. Uh, like this load here, this gal in here is telling me that this load was supposed to have been picked up 26. She said she's got 21 loads that hasn't been picked up that's been scheduled. Uh, the broker, the broker, uh, uh, told the little woman to name her price, and, uh, he said, we, we got a thousand on it, and, uh, she goes, oh, I can't do it for that, and, uh, she kind of priced it, so if I deadheaded from Kansas home, uh, for the new year, that we'd at least get two dollars, you know. But uh, without any deadhead, you know, as far as from the Kansas home, if, if we just run to um, Kansas with this load and then we find something else, eh, hell, this one here is over four. Little woman's doing a good job, by God. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, the main reason for this video, though, is, you know, for setting up setting up for them doors you know a lot of it's the setup uh you know a lot of guys say there's oh there's not enough room well yeah there is but you know pay attention to what you're doing as you're coming up and how them other trucks are setting setting in there and your lines and everything some of them places you get into the, the lines really aren't very visible but the tire marks uh, are um, pay attention to little details um, and a lot of a lot of times you get in with a certain company you go into a lot of the same places all the time uh, so you, you know exactly you know oh look at the lines or look at the tire marks and you know stuff like that um, like this place here, um, here, let me see, get you out of there. Maybe I can, uh, if you'll notice between 
between that grass line over there and them trailers uh, to dock, there a uh, lot of room, a lot, a lot of room, a lot of room. So, but there's a lot of places that don't have that much room, you know, to get set up. Uh, so, you know, like this place here, uh, they want your tandem slid all the way back. Um, which you got enough room, you know. A little harder to get in, in, in more narrow places uh, where the grass line is, is real close to curb. Um, with your tandems all the way back. Uh, so you set up, set up, set up. Pay attention when you're coming in to the setup to where everybody else is setting and the lines where you're going to need to be. Um, because then you're going to know a little better of where you're going to have to be. Um, so, like I said, uh, if I can get a better camera, uh, and maybe a couple different with, with some editing stuff, uh, I can have like a camera facing so where you can see, uh, you know, maybe I could actually show you what I'm doing. Um, but if you pay attention and don't get in a hurry, uh, and these damn CBs, some of these guys, you know, they run their mouth, run their mouth, uh, about guys that haven't been in the business very long, instead of getting out and helping them. That's the deal. Uh, I don't care what the name on the door is. If I see somebody, my wife, she gets irritated with me because I'll be on the phone with her. And I'll see somebody need help, and I'll just get out, and I'll help them. <clears throat> I don't care who it is. I don't care whether they're almost going to hit my truck or somebody else as I get out and help them. Um, I don't care what the name on the door is. Can't help somebody. What the hell? I'll talk to everybody. I don't care. Don't matter the race. Even if they're stupid. Can't fix stupid. Some guys don't want your help. Speaking of that, I'm going to uh, go ahead and shut this off right now. Here, just a second. I'm going to ignore it. I'll call her back. Um, do all that good stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe by God. You guys have a good day. Better get a whole little woman back. <laughs>